All right, the Ripley V4 versus Apex Mountain in Golden. Hi, this is Mike with 50MTB, and we're gonna take the Ripley out on Apex here in Golden, Colorado. Uh, there's basically two hills, so here's the first one. We get up to the top of that, and then we go down a slight little valley, and then we go right back up to the, the next one, the top of it, and that's uh, Enchanted Forest. So, real excited to see how this bike does. I demoed the bike here a uh, year ago, whatever it was, and had a blast. And so now I'm going to do it on my own bike and uh, really looking forward to see how it does. Let's go. Yeah, I'm more comfortable on those little tight turns. Denver, there's Golden. So it's right here, the western edge of Metro Denver. Tip number two. I made it. It's been a long time since I made that. I like that. So close. Guess there's the line. There we go. Well, that was the difference between seeing the line and doing the line. <laughs> I'm grateful that guy showed me the line. This is Mike with 50 MTV and just made it to the top of the first hill. We got two hills in this sequence and I'm pretty proud of myself. I took 11 stops. I think four of those were tech stops and then exhaustion stops. It's about 85 degrees today. Got a little bit of cloud cover. And uh, this Ripley is just doing amazingly well. Uh, really amazed and impressed. So far it's doing fine with the Arden races, those lighter tires, a little easier to get up the hill. And I've been able to climb in three plus. So, if you don't know what I mean, I, I played a little game with myself to see on a climb the highest gear I can stay in and keep going up the mountain. It makes me stronger. And so usually I'm in one, maybe two. Today I was in four at the beginning and then three for the second half of this climb all the way to the top. And uh, I'm, again, pretty happy about that. It does help on some of the techie sections to give you a little bit of speed, keep a little momentum going. Just kind of depends on the tech, but... Uh, really happy with this setup. 
Uh, Ripley's doing great. So I'm gonna take a quick break here in the shade, get a little drink, and then we're gonna go on the valley up the second hill and then we'll do the downhill. I think the total time on this is around 12.50. Whatever it is, it's fun. <laughs> we gotta try to fix those brakes. I tried to put center brake pads on. Really jacked up my loaders. Now I've got organic back and it's way better. Sounding and grip. Boy, I wish I would have never tried sinking. So, I'll keep warning all of you. Or maybe you'll have better luck. Yeah. Well, I'm going to climb the second part before. Happy about that. This is definitely a blue trail. And length and steepness and has a couple of little black features mixed in. I think that's why we call it a blue black. I don't know if you can see that little doe. Oh mama's not around. Yeah, it's a big climb. Let's see. I'm not sure if I can do it in four. I might have to go through it too. Well, let's try it. Maybe a little speed. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I took the simple path, but made it in four, that's good. There you go. Hi, this is Grandpa Mike with 50 MTB and we just climbed up uh, Apex. That second hill was a lot of fun. Uh, I was able to do it in four, fourth gear the entire time, so I'm pretty happy about that for myself. And uh, that was a little accomplishment and got up here to the top in right around an hour, which is also pretty good for me. So I'm pretty excited. This Ripley is really doing well. It's a great climber, so much fun. And now we're about to open it up and do some downhill. Uh, we're going to go down here through Enchanted Forest, which should be pretty awesome. It's always fun. And then uh, right down through the uh, through the gut of Apex, which you can't see because of the trees. But uh, it's a little technical section, a lot of rock drops, and uh, probably one, two feet high. And it's a lot of fun. So let's do it. Oh, we're about to have some fun. This is so beautiful. I hope you're getting this. <laughs> Up to the bump. Yeah, I just want to start to figure out where all these are. They got a lot of good jumps on there. Just a run out. Don't know what to do now. That left last leg. Whoa, that's a big shot.
Woo. Way to go, baby. All right, here we go. Small section. And Ripley takes it on Novellum. Just slipped off right at the last minute. Uh, a little more speed next time. Oh yeah. I just attack stuff I used to shy away from on this thing. Just loves to roll over the gnar. I know they're two foot plus cross. This hand on it, right? Two and a half. This time. Give me your gas.
Uh, not geared low enough. <laughs> well, that's not it. I just grabbed a mic with 50 MTB and man, that was a blast. Just came down apex, just uh, came right down the gut and that's just so much fun. There's so much challenge in there and the Ripley just ate it up. Uh, <laughs> the only thing, the thing I like about a trail like this is that it's a real challenge for me and you gotta do it at your level, right? And uh, so for me, this is still a good challenge. I don't come here enough to know everything and conquer everything, but every time I come back, I seem to uh, beat something or you know accomplish or overcome an obstacle that I hadn't beat before. And it just gives you a sense of accomplishment. You gotta soak those things in. And uh, when you miss one, you gotta think, man, this is really cool because this thing's gonna keep challenging me for a long time. And I'm gonna keep having a lot of pleasure. I think we get a lot of pleasure out of beating a challenge. So again, thank you so much for coming along with me again to Ripley. It's just such a fantastic bike. <laughs> Every time I go on it, I'm like, man, I am so glad I got this thing. Uh, it really is a pleasure. Uh, on the way up, I I put the uh, the back shock in the middle. I know that's uh, against the DW link. You're not you're just supposed to leave it open, and it does great open. But for me and my weight, if I put it right in the middle, it just does so good in traction. Yet it's still a little active. It's just perfect. And the, even the front shock, I like to put it about a third closed in the compression on the blue knob on the top. Just so good for climbing. Worked really well today. And then for the downs, I just open everything up and it's just a, such a pleasure. Uh, anyway, thanks for coming along with me. If you like this kind of thing, uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this ride. If you'd like to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Love to take you along with us. And uh, if you have any thoughts, comments about either Apex Mountain here, and golden or uh, the Ripley or anything else go ahead and leave them down in the comment section and uh, happy to chat with you about that all right uh, thank you so much for uh, riding along with me today and uh, thanks for hanging out